Hello, a good day. Um, sa magandang araw sa ating lahat. This is a continuation in our lesson in NSTP. And this is also for everyone who, wa who wants to learn, who wants to enrich their knowledge about community mobilization and participation. Na? So let's start now our discussion. Now, this is uh, Paul Dominic Sion Talasco po pala. And I hope that uh, you would enjoy and learn from this uh, video discussion. Now, community involvement is an important topic that can have impacts on everything from a community's rate of graduation to the quality of healthcare that it receives. And a definition of the term might go something like this. Community involvement is meaningful, consistent participation in activities that support and improve upon social well-being. That's the main fo focus on individuals to have social well-being. Community participation uh, and mobilization examples include engaging with, uh, with the youth, volunteering for or donating to local schools, uh, neighborhood associations, government, and or non-profit organizations. Now, Community mobilization is essentially a process for reaching out to different sectors of a community, no? whether nasa taas, or nasa baba, or nasa middle. And by doing so, it creates a partnership among them, no? and ultimately address a pressing issue, uh, a social challenge. No? Community mobilization supports uh, the solutions no? that, that, that we could have by empowering community members and groups to take action to facilitate change. This includes mobilizing necessary resources, the dissemination of information, generating support, and of course, in fostering cooperation across public and private sectors in the community. Now, mobilization, effort. mobilization efforts are often considered in the literature as building community or collaborative partnerships, community engagement or involvement, or coalition building. Though some of these terms refer to specific structures, the underlying goal of engaging a wide range of community members to create and implement a shared vision is the same. Community partners implement a community action plan by pooling and leveraging resources. And by resources, we mean here skills, funds, and other assets. This process is known as mobilization and this should enhance the ability of the community to address the social challenge that it would like to uh, tackle on now the question is why community mobilization in the first place uh, bakit po ito individuals can benefit from community participation in a variety of ways including improve mental health reduce stress and increase longevity Citizen engagement can improve decision-making in communities and has been shown to improve public health, education, safety, and env environmental management. Individuals who participate in their communities can improve their overall well-being in a variety of ways. Volunteering, for example, has been shown in studies to have a positive impact on depression and life satisfaction. One, su one study from the University of Buffalo even found a link between community involvement and lower levels of stress. At syempre, pag mas bababa ang stress, uh, it, it, this would also lead to a lower risk of death. Individual involvement, of course, has a significant effect on the community as a whole. Many studies have found a link between citizen participation in local affairs and more effective community decision-making. For example, a University of North Carolina research has found that doctors who incorporate a community perspective provide better care and improve overall public health. Similarly, one review on an Ethiopian health extension program found that community education programs can raise awareness of communicable disease, diseases and change behaviors, leading to improved health outcomes. Participation in the community has also been shown to improve public education. Uh, while more research is, is needed in this area, preliminary findings indicate a link between higher test scores and local resident engagement. According to one 2002 study, academic success is more likely when adults with high achievement standards guide students out of school activities, among other things. 
according to research also, community participation can boost public safety confidence. People who participated in a community-based land management program, for example, they would report better well-being in, different, in several areas, including feeling safer in their local communities, according to one study published in EcoHealth. Community participation has also been shown to improve environmental management outcomes. For example, a study of a conversation area in Nepal discovered that a community in involvement program aided in the education and empowerment of citizens and local institutions. These changes resulted in increased tree diversity and animal populations in the Annapurna Conservation Area doon sa Nepal. Now, we define what community is. No? Now, uh, a com now, we could say that a community is a combination of families and individuals living in a relatively compact and interconnected geographical area with a significant element of common life. No? Ito yung similarity na nakukuha nila. This is demonstrated by uh, a similarity in manners, in customs, in tradition, and modes of speech. It also refers to people in the pattern of their social relationship when these relationships are characterized by a shared set of values. No? Normatively defined relationships, interdependence to one another, a sense of belongingness, uh, a stratification system, and of course, locality. However, the concept of community is no one's. No? Unfortunately, a lack of understanding of what a community is and its role in the lives of people in various societies has resulted in the failure of many well-intended community efforts. No? Now, in here, uh, what are the common problems in a community that we could solve no? with community participation and mobilization? No? First here is a lack of cohesion and organization. No? Although people are not organized for political purposes, they are socially organized along clans and other self-help social groups. Mobilization, therefore, will not start from scratch. We could not have, no, we could not have, sim we could not just give a community a motto and expect them to solve their problem. No, no. But we will be building on these organizations and the culture for a different economic and political purposes. Another problem that we could see is lack of resources and facilities. And of course, uh, what we could also have is social malaise, such as hunger, poverty, discrimination, or of course, gender problems. No? Now, a social malaise is a state in which there is something wrong with the society or group, for which there does not seem to be a quick or easy solution. No? So that's one issue that we need to, no, to talk about no, in a community. We need to identify the problem, what the social malaise is, and we need to solve it you no know, critically we could uh, we don't expect it to be solved overnight you no know? we need to change the idea on how we could solve it you no know? in the, oh, no now next here is we also have a fun uh, problem of functional illiteracy you no know? functional illiteracy is defined as the inability to use reading writing and calculation skills for personal and community development functional illiteracy has a significant negative impact not only on personal development, but also on economic and social development. Now, we could also have here a lack of security tenure. No? Now, security of tenure is a right of an employee and mandated by law that protects them from being unjustly terminated from employment by their employers. Take note that a livelihood and employment, it is not just a business relationship between the employee and the employer. No? kasama po sa relasyon na yan ang government no kasi inaalagaan ng government yung relationship no ng mga laborers ng mga employees no and hopefully sana maisip ng mga employers that it is not only an economic issue it is a livelihood issue it is an issue kasi buong family ang affected kung mawawalan ng trabaho ang isang miyembro no now, we also have here a lack of political will. No? Political will, uh, ito yung willingness to commit precious time, energy and funds, and political capital to achieve significant change. No? 
when that said leader no, is prepared to take the risk and to incur opportunity loss to solve a problem. And sometimes kasi, uh, politicians do not do the right things because it might not be popular with the voters. No? So, yun. For, for example lang, no, may project na alam niya na sa short term effect niya, mawawala ng trabaho yung karamihan, pero ang long term effect niya naman, magkakaroon naman ng maraming trabaho, no? Sometimes the politicians, uh, they will play safe and wag na lang, hindi na lang nila gagawin yun, no? Kasi nga, ayaw nilang magkaroon ng bad reputation, no? So, yun. And, of course, we could add here is the belief, no? That the political leaders and bureaucrats will alleviate the problems of of the community. Well, ang laki kasi ng epekto ng mga people, no? Na ine natin. Pero hindi kasi nakasalalay sa kanila yung buhay natin. May epekto sila, pero of course, hindi lahat. Supposedly, the politicians that we elect, they should work with us. They should work for us. No? So, yun ang nakakalimutan natin. No? And what else, what other problems that we have here? Uh, unwillingness also to give up individual interests. No? Sana maisip na mga tao na mas magandang isipin yung community as a whole. Pero of course, we could not blame them. You could not think of the whole community when your whole family is starving, right? So, of course, mas una mong lilinisin ang bakuran mo kaysa sa bakuran ng barangay, no? But, there are good aspects in the communities that can be utilized, no? And hopefully, we could build upon in community mobilization, no? For example, here is indigenous knowledge, no? Uh, and of course, strong social bonds, no? Ito yung mga examples na mga pwede nating maggamit. Now, what should we do then to mobilize the community? What should we do to mobilize the community? Now, we have four steps here. No? What are these four steps? No? Uh, identify and access communities. No? So, we select and train community spokespeople and mobilizers. We establish a formal structure for effective information flow. And we identify and implement community mobilization activities. No? Now, Talking about uh, identifying and accessing communities, communities most affected by a social issue may be found in some geographical areas only or spread across the country. In either case, when entering a community, it is essential to know the national and subnational protocols, both official and traditional. This knowledge will provide insight into who should be approached first in a community. Yung para naman hindi tayo bara-bara, no? This will likely be the local authorities and the traditional and religious leaders. However, uh, we should ensure that uh, when we explore government and traditional systems, we do it accurately so as to follow expected procedures when entering a community. Now, here are some general guidelines for entering a community, no? especially if you are not a member of that community. No? Now, what you could do here is you, we follow established protocol for working in communities. No. The government plays a significant role in working with communities. You usually have to seek approval at the district, regional, uh, or barangay levels to enter communities. You may need to establish a service level agreement or memorandum of understanding prior to entering or beginning work in a community. Second here is we must approach the key leaders, no? the, key, the gatekeepers of the community, who have the ability to hamper or support the communication activities. Mostly, ito yung mga barangay kapitan, yung mga BHW, no? uh, mga counselors na nandun, no? mga ganun. Now, in consultation with these key leaders and gatekeepers, we should identify the other important stakeholders who need to be brought on board for community mobilization. Consider local authorities, the health sector, and related services, uh, local associations and NGOs, as well as other influential individuals. This may be popular figures and charismatic personalities. We should also invite all identified stakeholders to an agreed location in the community and discuss the activity, discuss the social issue that we will undertake. No? Now, we should also discuss key facts that relate to the, uh, to the social issue. And of course, uh, important protective behaviors and the consequences of not being engaged in such activity. Now, we should explore 
with stakeholders on how to move forward uh, with our activity. We should ensure that all part discussions are participatory and that all members feel comfortable to ask questions and share ideas. No? Ta- ang sabi nga nila, uh, wag mahihiyang magtanong. No? Now, identify community members who act as spokespeople and mobilizers. Be sure to consider the existing networks of mobilizers that are attached to local or international organizations and to the social issue that we should undertake. Now, um, part of the discussion with stakeholders uh, in the community will explore potential avenues for supporting individuals and families to engage in protective behaviors that can manage the emergency or eventually solve the social issue. One effective way of doing this is to have a pool of trained spokespeople and mobilizers. Now, now spokespeople, uh, this should be trusted individual, uh, individual of authority, no? who acts as a point of reference and announces accurate and timely information about the social issue or the emergency. Spokespeople generally conduct correspondence with the media, such as radio stations and the press, and communicate with the public uh, about the social issue. More likely, gagawin na lang ito sa social media with the advent of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They liaise, they communicate regularly with the national and subnational communication mechanism to provide feedback on what is happening on the ground and to obtain information to share with the public. Acting on behalf of others, spokespeople should be loyal to the issue being addressed and act as role models, role models for what is being promoted. Often, spokespeople are admired leaders, members of respected authorities and institutions, or popular national figures. Now, pag nasa barangay level naman tayo, pwede naman natin kunin na yung mga popular na, ano, no, na mga members ng barangay. No? Now, a mobilizer is a person who can act as a catalyst. Mobilizers tend to work more directly with the community than spokespeople. No? They provide information and support and they are engaging with community members in a dialogue. They also monitor how they respond to the social issue and messages and correspond with the communication cells so as to continuously revise activities based on what is necessary. Mobilizers should be trusted members of the community. When identifying mobilizers and spokespeople, consult with local, religious, and traditional leaders and consider existing networks of community mobilizers such as yung mga barangay health workers or yung mga community mobilizers associated with local, national, or international organizations, no? lalo dun sa mga nagtatrabaho sa munisipyo. Individuals acting as spokespeople and mobilizers for existing structures are likely to have already earned the trust of community members and can be effective in imparting messages and delivering activities relating to the social emergency or to the social uh, issue. No? Utilizing existing spokespeople and networks of community mobilizers who have already earned the community's trust may save us the time and grant a trustworthy entry point in the community. Ensure, however, that we can always communicate with the gatekeepers and important stakeholders to follow community protocol when selecting our spokespeople and mobilizers. Now, spokespeople and mobilizers need to have similar qualities to implement their work effectively. Some of these qualities are intrinsic, while others can be acquired through training. When selecting spokespeople and mobilizers, it is crucial to ensure that that person is a trusted and influential source of information in the community, and that he or she is able to act as a role model for the issue and the behaviors being promoted. Now, uh, the next step here is to establish a formal structure for for effective information flow. Now, one of the strengths of using spokespeople and mobilizers is that they allow for continuous monitoring of how the community is responding both to the social issue and to the activities aimed no, at promoting community participation and mobilization. 
for continuous and monitoring to be effective, however, mobilizers and spokespeople need to communicate regularly with community members and services as well as with the local, subnational, and national communica communication systems if ever meron. No? The communication between the community, the mobilizers or spokespeople, and the communication cells needs to be regular two-way process. It is a feedback loop that allows mobilizers to provide vital information to service providers and to the communication cells on community perceptions of services and activities, how messages are being received, and social and cultural practices that can inhibit a person's ability to engage in protective behaviors. This is particularly important for detecting rumors and arising barriers early. And of course, alam naman natin, maraming fake news, maraming misinformation na dadala sa TikTok. No? So, we need to address them promptly. Now, the following, makita po natin dito, meron tayong information flow between mobilizers, the community, and communication cells. No? So, makita natin dito, no? the mobilizers, the spokespeople, sila yung nasa gitna parate ng mga iba't ibang mechanisms natin, be it they are in the national, subnational, or local uh, communication mechanism. It depends on kung ano po ba yung level ng community participation and mobilization na hinahanap natin. No? The information flow diagram can help determine the feedback loop between the community and the communication cells. It is likely, however, that every location will have its own systems and requirements for how they should look. And defining the flow of information should be done in consultation with the community and the service and the structures that we would have. Now, last but not the least, we should have we should identify and implement community mobilization activities. Community mobilization involves engaging community members to participate effectively in defining the problems that affect them and generating solutions. That's the most important on how to generate solutions, but not just any solutions. Solutions that will arise from the needs assessment that has been conducted. Solutions from real problems because sometimes we are implementing solutions to issues that are not really problems, no? So that's uh, that's 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 a waste of time. No, imagine you're solving something that is not really a problem. No. Now, entering the community is the first step of community mobilization. Once initial contact has been made and key concerns have been explored, a, a range of community-based activities can be used to raise awareness, encourage reflection, and improve self-efficacy and promote behavior change. That's what we need. The change sa individual members ng community. No? Now, we could outline five channels linked to community mobilization and recommend that uh, when developing activities. These five channels are radio, large-scale community-based activities, interpersonal communication, community-based surveillance, and of course, mobile phone technology. No? Mobile phone technology, ito yung makaramihan na ginagamit na natin because of social media. Now, the following are tips on social mobilization. The following now are tips on social mobilization. Kung titignan nyo, may acronym siya. Yay! No? May acronym siya. No? Uh, so, ano po ba yung pwede natin magawa no? on social mobilization? No? Uh, we could maintain a sense of humor and be patient. You might feel a deadline to keep, no? Uh, may, mga, may mga deadlines tayo no? but others may have other may have other priorities and sometimes your sense of humor no? ito yung magpapagaan ng loob ng mga tao open your mind and heart and you will receive an open warm welcome a mutually beneficial relationship will develop e, relationship will develop daw oh. now build upon the positive aspects of the local culture religion, knowledge and tradition Brick by brick, uh, work with people to build up their lives with dignity and honor. Now, initiate but do not lead. Ito yung problema minsan eh. No? You are a catalyst of inspiring developmental activities and not the boss. Hindi ka foreman. Hindi ikaw. No? So, sometimes, 
uh, leading by example no is better no than uh, sabi nga nila sa Game of Thrones uh, he who, who says I am king is not the true king no so ganun You lead by example by your servant leadership dapat. What's next? Uh, listen, listen, and listen again. Learn from everyone. No? Learn from the community. The wise, the wise, and the whens in the house of the situation and their social condition. No? Tulad nga nang sinabi natin kanina, we might be solving a problem that is not really a problem. So we talk to people. No? Uh, what's next? Identify the people's needs. No? We could do this with a needs assessment survey no? sa mga tao. No? And what we could also do is we could facilitate the community on how to identify their needs. No? Baka kasi ang sabi nila, kailangan namin ng mas magandang sapatos. But no, baka naman pala problema nila is the roads. No? So instead of solving the shoe problem, if you would solve the roads, no, it would solve the problem. No? Now remember, awareness raising is the first step towards mobilization. Now sit down. sit together, share ideas and experience. Remember, no, community participation is a two-way process. No, ano pa ba? Avoid talking in terms of money, no. Wag wag puro pero wag wag ganung kakapal ang mukha, no? no. Rather, talk in terms of working together. No. Don't be authoritative and don't talk big, no. Uh, everyone, walang ano, uh, one community leader na kilala ko, uh, si Sir Nesto, shout out sa kanya. May sinasabi sa sa amin no noon dati yung walang maliit tambag no so dapat ganun wag mong isipin na na napepresyohan yung efforts natin no ano pa ba uh, talk simply no do not use complex language and your task is to communicate effectively remember you are there to express not to impress no you are there to express and not to impress Ano pa ba? Uh, involve the community from the very beginning. No, hindi yung nag-start ka ng project, tapos no, halfway ka sa project, saka mo isasama ng ibang tao. No? Uh, uh, from the conception of the project itself, you add people. No, hindi yung idadamay mo nang sila kung patapos na. Ano pa ba? Uh, organize the people to draw up their plans for their development. And simple activities which can be easily understood, yun ang mas maganda, no? Dapat yun yung pakita natin, no? Yung realistically na ma-carried out. Pupunta ka sa barangay, tapos paano ka pa, ah, mag, ano tayo, mag-blockchain technology tayo, etc., etc. Wala nga silang computer, tapos yung blockchain, blockchain ka. Hello? Ano ba ba? Uh, never assume that you are right and they are wrong. That's, that's the important thing. Never assume that you are right and they are wrong. In most cases, you will discover that you are correct, but you had failed to listen to them. No? Kasi sometimes, no, we all have our version of truths. And it's a matter of understanding, letting people understand no, your truth. Tama ka nga, hindi ka nila pinanuwalaan. No? So, boom. Now, uh, ano ba ba? Ang pwede natin masabi. Uh, food for thought no? food for thought na kailangan nating isipin uh, food for thought natin no? um, although not all people are equally empowered they can all uh, make a contribution in their small capacities now we think of how our actions and, uh, and, and actions affect the community no? kasi sometimes we just do things and simply leave it at there no we Di ba nga sa community, interconnected tayo. No? Mayroon tayong tinatawag na similarity. May shared culture tayo. No? So, how does our actions or inactions affect the whole community? What can we learn from the communities? No? Uh, or don't they have anything to offer that we could use? And sometimes kasi pag pupunta tayo sa community, sakala natin tayo yung savior. No? But can we just sit down, listen, and learn from one another? And what can we do to ensure na meron tayong participatory communication and development? No? Uh, what could we do to ensure that we have better staff in the poor and remote areas? That we could empower the poor no? so that they could be uh, enabled to develop themselves. To ensure the provision of quality services. And most importantly, what could we do to ensure uh, respect for the rights of people, no? of everyone? Um, it is important to remember that 
for one to have a choice, one must be empowered and free. Again, it is important to remember that for one to have a choice, one must be empowered and free. But sometimes, no, nasa kadiliman tayo at yun nga, dahil na siguro sa mga fake news, misinformation, uh, revision of history, we are not giving our best to have an informed choice. No? So, yun. Um, communities should have a lead role in shaping their own future. No? This will ensure that uh, interventions are sustainable and that communities remain vibrant, healthy, and strong. No? Now, of course, may mga questions pa tayo. Who is an empowered person? No? How could we say that a community is already empowered na ang isang community ay, uh, ay may mobilization, kumbaga, na, uh, na nagpa-participate tayo, no? There are there are no standard answers, no. But the following are a few signs that shows that a community is empowered, no. Na meron nga tayong tinatawag na participation and mobilization, no. Pag makita natin na may confidence, no. Kung makita natin na may knowledge and skills, kung makita natin na yung community may access siya sa valuable information na kailangan nila. Kasi, 'di ba? May information nga sila pero mali, no. So wrong information is still wrong. And in info and opinion opinions based on wrong information no on uh, on lies must be subject to correction. Yan, tandaan na natin 'yon, no. Paano ba? Paano ba, ba natin malalaman kung empowered yung community when the people, no, they know and demand for their rights. No. Of course, nagbabayad tayo ng tax. So dapat no humihingi tayo ng sukli sa mga taxes natin, no. Uh, and when the people in the community can make informed decisions and when they have resources to sustain and improve their way of living, their livelihood. No? Doon natin masasabi na mayroon tayong empowered community. Now, um, there are infinite ways. <clears throat> there are infinite ways um to get involved in a community no and to not limit your imagination the examples that we will discuss are general aspects of social well-being no and it's talaga siya specific actions no so that we could have an overview on what it entails to have community participation and uh, mobilization no this offer good starting points no, to find where we are best positioned uh, to contribute to the community. Whether you are an individual or business, no, if we should think through the needs of our community and our unique qualities, no, these are good starting points for having an impact on community participation and uh, mobilization. Now we could start with improving improving uh, public health. No, community involvement in public health is a growing area of interest for many. No, healthcare professionals that have a community centers perspective are better uh, better able to treat their patients no? and their community. There are many advocates for healthcare professionals to effectively get involved in the communities that they serve. However, the burden should not just rest on the healthcare field alone. Public health is a community-wide responsibility, and since healthcare, healthcare often it starts with education, the field presents ample opportunities for individuals or businesses to lend support, partnering with local health professionals and policymakers to help improve local services or education programs could have significant benefits for the community. No? Take note na uh, the office of the vice president meron siyang ano di ba e consulta program and I think that's a good example for improving public health no and hopefully yung e consulta program ni vice president i continue sana ng incoming uh, vice president no now what else no we could also support public education getting involved in local public education is a good way to have long lasting impacts on our community as discussed no evidence suggests that community involvement can improve academic success among students no 
We should note that the research mentioned earlier suggests that the impact of community involvement boils down to providing students with good role models, not necessarily in aiding the learning process. No? So, be a good person lang. Ilang naman. Be a good person and try to help a younger student. No? So, yun. No? Uh, ang laki nang maitutulong ng pagtulong natin sa mga kabataan sa education dito. Now, uh, enhance environmental management. Environmental management is another area proven to be enhanced through community participation. Local governments and associations can be overwhelmed by the scale of environmental issues and lending volunteer services will likely be welcomed by policymakers and residents. Um, research, research cited no, that shows a positive correlation between community involvement and local biodiversity. These types of interventions can have cascading impacts as improved environments can lead to a better public health, no? local pride, and of course, increase in tourism. Um, we should only see the, the efforts of uh, Congressman Teddy Bagilat. No? Madami siyang programs about the uh, environment na sa tingin natin ay makakatulong po talaga no? sa environmental management. No? And of course, what we could also do is uh, reduce homelessness and poverty. Often, uh, when people uh, hear the term community involvement, community participation, uh, they associate these efforts with eradicating poverty and homelessness. And with good reason, as it's a worthy cause, and one where we could see the visual, uh, visible impacts. However, caution is needed when approaching the issue of poverty eradication. No? Now, vol there are volumes of literature uh, dedicated to the subject because of how complicated the issue is at its core. That being said, policymakers and professionals, prati na lang sinasabi that there is a lack of resources and more help is needed. No? In a 2007 study for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, for instance, they emphasized the need for a community-wide approach to addressing issues of homelessness and poverty. No? The research indicated that involvement in this area is usually most effective when efforts are directed at both alleviating current circumstances and addressing the root cause of the issue. And, you know, there are some families in the Philippines already na under sa uh, poverty alleviation programs ng government. More specifically, yung mga members natin ng Pantawid Pamilya. No? So, that's a uh, way of the government. no. But, for me lang, in my own personal opinion, no, it's hindi siya ganun ka-effective kung hindi tutulungan ng community. No, kung hindi mamamobolize yung community. Kasi take note, not everyone could become part of the program. Not everyone could be part of the four-piece. Correct, di ba? No, wala tayong budget. Wala tayong manpower. No? But what we could do is we could help with the programs. No? We could help uh, promote no, yung mga core messages ng uh, Pantawid Pamilya Program. No? Yung education, uh, maternal care, no? community involvement, no? yung mga ganun. And last but not the least, also, we could foster the arts. No? The arts can, uh, can often be an overlooked area for involvement, but providing creative spaces for the community can also intersect with and improve as other aspects of social well-being. Supporting the arts can be an effective way of supporting education. No? In a multi-year study of learning through art, a program by the Guggenheim Museum, they found that students who participated in the program were more likely to plan, persist, and be deliberate, thoughtful, and approach difficulties with focus and have greater knowledge of art materials. No? So, ganun sana. No? Giving back to the local art scene, then, can help boost a community's resilience and development. No. Last but not the least, no, we should end this video discussion uh, with a call for us no, for equal opportunity for everyone because that is what community participation is mobilization is all about to create an equalness in the opportunity that we provide for people. Um, hindi naman po tayo bulag na nakita natin na yung mga nasa laylayan, yung mga nasa baba 
hindi sila nabibigyan ng tamang atensyon, ng tamang focus na dapat ay meron sa kanila. No? At kung minsan, uh, basta naka-SUV ka, pwede ka nang managasa. No? <laughs> so, hindi ganun. Um, you should have an equal opportunity, an equal protection of our rights. And I do believe that, I do honestly believe that if we would all pull, if we would see first ourselves as a community, no, that we would all see ourselves as no, as individuals who could help, who could assist, who could share, no, no, then we could do something worthwhile. At yun yung main lesson natin dito. No. We are doing community participation and mobilization. We're doing NSTP. Because we want to create equal opportunities for everyone. Hindi lang yung mga nakakaalam, pero lahat sana nakakaalam. Pag lahat nakakaalam, no, lahat no, makakarip ng benefits. No? Ganun sana. Again, uh, pagtatapos ng lessons natin, here are my sources. No? Advocates for Youth, USAIDS, Street Civics, and SBECC for Emergency Preparedness. You could just Google them up to learn more information kung sa mga pinagkukuha na natin dito. No? And thank you very much for listening. Uh, I hope that you have learned. For any questions, uh, just give me a message. Email me on talasco.paldominic at gmail.com And hopefully you had learned something from me. And have a nice day everyone.